Hello and good evening. Yesterday, June the 14th, would have been the 80th birthday of the late Sid Phillips, clarinetist, arranger, composer, occasional pianist and band leader. The bands he led in the later years, from the 1940s onwards, leaned heavily towards the Dixieland style, but it wasn't always that way. His first band was a sextet called the Melodians, with which he toured the continent in the 1920s with success. The Melodians were later augmented and recorded for the old Edison Bell label in 1931-32. In that band were two of Sid's three brothers, Harry, who played trumpet, and Ralph on banjo and guitar. The third brother, trombonist Wolf Phillips, became, after World War II, the director of the Skyrockets Dance Orchestra at the London Palladium and now lives in America. Among my own collection of Edison Bell records, I came across a couple by the Melodians recorded in 1931. And this is part of an arrangement in doubled up tempo of a well known song uh, from that time, I Surrender Dear. <laughs> Sid Phillips' Melodians in 1931. More than a year earlier, Sid Phillips had scored two arrangements for what was arguably, even then, Britain's premier dance band. And I remember asking Sid on one of several occasions when we met and talked how he came to join the Ambrose Orchestra. I was bribed by Ambrose to come in because I had decided to stop playing and devote myself entirely to writing. And I had just joined the Lawrence Wright Music Company and uh, I'd done my first two arrangements for Ambrose, for the company, working for the company, as you know, not for myself. These were Japanese Dream and uh, Moaning for You. And uh, shortly after that, Bert phoned me up and said, uh, I understand that you play the saxophone and the clarinet. I said, yes, I do. Well, come and join the band. And I'm sorry, no, I've given it up. How much do you want? Well, I'm sorry, I've given it up. I'll give you £25 a week. Oh. <laughs> I said, well, all right, we'll try. OK. And uh, I started that way. Thank you. 
Night Ride, one of the most famous, but uh, just one of many compositions and arrangements Sid Phillips wrote for the Ambrose Orchestra. Incidentally, around the time of that recording, 1936, Sid, under his own name, recorded four sides using mainly the Ambrose musicians. They were made at the behest of the well-known writer and music critic Edgar Jackson, and uh, at least the 78 Rex record labels state Edgar Jackson presents Sid Phillips and his rhythm. Phillips on clarinet, leading the likes of uh, Max Goldberg, trumpet, Billy Armstrong on tenor, Bert Barnes, piano, George Elliott, guitar, Lou Davis, trombone, and vocalist Jack Cooper in early 1936. I could uh, quite easily and happily fill the rest of our dance band day's time with uh, Sid Phillips' compositions played by Ambrose. Man About Town, Plain Jane, Champagne Cocktail, Blue Romance, Streamline Strut, those are some that come to mind. But uh, I remember asking Sid once what his favourite was. God, the people's congregation. Why? because it's probably the simplest of the lot. All the others were clever, novelty, clever, and I was putting in things just for the sake of showing that the Ambrose's band could do things that most other bands just couldn't do. But I don't think that they achieved the the spontaneous, uh, warm reaction from most people that the cotton pickers did.
said Phillips and uh, Cotton Pickers' congregation. He was uh, nearly lost to the British musical scene in 1939. He uh, visited America, where he was much fated by musicians there. I remember him telling me how uh, Mark Warno, then one of the busiest radio arranger conductors and brother of Raymond Scott, was eager to discuss technical points, how uh, Sid achieved certain effects with the small string section that Ambrose had on pieces like uh, Escapada. Sid was uh, begged to stay in America and arrange for their orchestras, but one of the things that brought him back was his love of cricket. He was more than a fine player himself, almost a county standard, I believe. Well, with the war clouds rapidly gathering, this was the beginning of Sid's concentration on smaller groups, first a trio that at one time included George Shearing, then a quintet which played during 1941 at La Suivi in London, ignoring the bombs and recording for Decca and posterity, sometimes with the harmonic edition of the Green Sisters. Sid Phillips Quintet and the Green Sisters. In 1942, Sid joined the RAF. In his NCO days, he organised service concerts and uh, wrote for the RAF Central Band. Later, he was posted to intelligence and commissioned. After the war, Sid returned to his smaller group sounds. There was a septet which recorded for the Oriel label, a series of Sid's compositions, among them almost novelty pieces like this, Chintz and Chippendale. Basically, with this instrumentation that Sid set out after the war to bring his Dixieland-style music to British audiences. Through his countrywide tours, his appearances at social functions, his uh, countless broadcasts, and, of course, his recordings, he gained an enormous and certainly a deserved following. Thank you. 
someone who set you back on your heels. Goody, goody, you met someone and now you know how it feels. Goody, goody, you gave him your heart too, just as I gave mine to you. And he broke it in little pieces. Now how do you do? So you lie awake just singing the blues all night. Goody, goody, you think that love's a barrel of dynamite. You had it coming to ya, and you don't like it, do ya? Goody, goody for him. Goody, goody for me. And I hope you're satisfied, you rascal, you. with the vocal chorus from Denny Dennis, just one of the vocalists to record with the band between the late 40s and the early 60s. It was during this time that Sid was the star of a lovely album called The Fabulous Mr Phillips, where he reworked some of his hits from the Ambrose days and added a symphonic touch with strings behind his liquid clarinet.
and on that same album, Sid remembered that with Ambrose, he was mostly featured on baritone sax. So, with the aid of multi-recording, he played one, as well as clarinet. <laughs> from the extensive scrapbook of uh, Sid Phillips, musician of great talent and a charming man who would have been 80 yesterday but who sadly died in May 1973. I'm very grateful to his friend, fan and biographer John Pope for his notes on Sid making the compilation of this small tribute, well, a little easier. And just a few bars of uh, hors d'oeuvre to end that uh, little tribute to Sid. Now, at 7.30, it's time for the cricket scoreboard with Alistair Higdall.